All right, in this lecture, we're going to look at the three tidal patterns that we see um, at different coastlines around the world. Um, so the first one that we have is a semi-diurnal tide. Okay, so for each of these, I'm going to explain what it is and then draw a chart so that you can see uh, the pattern. So in a semi-diurnal tide, if we were to have um, a chart to try to show the tidal height. That will be on the side. The line here is at zero, so it's where the tide is stopped. Um, and we're going to show this period over one tidal day. Okay, so during a diurnal tide, what we see is two highs and two low tides of equal sizes during that um, that lunar day. So what this will look like is we have a high and then a low and then a high and then a low and we're going to pretend that our tidal day is going to have to just be out through there because I didn't draw it quite right. So what we see again is two highs so that's the high tide and two low tides uh, during the lunar day and they're of about equal size. So two high, two low, and then about the same size in that lunar day, okay? Now the next tide that we have is a diurnal tide. Okay, so what happens with this one, I'll try to draw it to the same size so that you can see it. Again, tidal height. on the side with the zero in the middle. But in a diurnal tide, we have one high and one low per the per day. So we're gonna get over to there. So it's gonna be, okay, so we have our high and our low. Um, so we have one high tide, one low tide per lunar day. Okay. Now the last time that we have, oh, and then if you're wondering where this happens, I'll kind of write this in now. Um, we would see semi-diurnal tides. Um, they're common on the east coast of the United States, or we'll just say North America. Um, Okay, we see our diurnal tides. Um, they're very common in the Gulf of Mexico. And that's um, going to be west of Florida. Um, all the way through Texas, so kind of to the, Mex the border that it has with Mexico. Okay, um, the reason we see this diurnal tide here, um, they're very common in closed basins. And the Gulf of Mexico is one of those. Okay. All right, now the third type um, of wave uh, tidal pattern that we have is our mixed tides. And these are also sometimes called semi-diurnal mixed. Okay, so what happens for these, we'll draw that same chart. So we have our lunar day. Um, and we have our tidal height. Okay, so here, use that same very bright red pen. Um, in the same time, we're gonna have our high and a low. Okay, so in that same period, we have two highs and two low tides, but this time they're at, of different sizes. So, um, we have two highs, two lows, and they're different sizes. All right, um, so if you were to be at a location that it would experience this, one of the high tides when it comes in will come up much farther on the shore. 
the water will go very far out. And then on the second rise for that second high tide, it won't come as high up on the beach. And then the second low won't go out as far either. So this is really common on the west coast of North America. Um, so places in California, Oregon, Washington, um, up into British Columbia will be experienced, uh, experiencing these mixed tides. All right, and that's it.